Greetings, welcome back to Backpacking TV. I'm Eric Hansen. Today we are breaking down the essential pieces of gear, what you should splurge on, and what you can save money on. So today we'll be looking at the essential pieces of gear. I'm talking about backpacks, tents, sleeping bags, stoves, water filtration, the kind of core pieces that make up your backpacking kit. I get a lot of questions of people asking me, is it worth the extra $100 to get the extra nice model of this or to save some money here? So I thought it'd be a good idea to just break it down what I think you should be absolutely spending top dollar on and what you can totally get away with going cheap. There is gonna be a thread here to these videos. All of the things that I think that you should spend money on come down to comfort. What is going to keep you comfortable, sleeping well, and happy on the trail? So the first item that I think that you should spend money on is going to be your sleeping mattress. A lot of people are just getting into backpacking. There's a lot of things to buy. You're buying a backpack, a tent, a sleeping bag. The bills start to rack up and it can be expensive. So one of the last things that people do is they say, well, I just dropped a lot of money and oh, hey, here's a $40 sleeping foam pad. I'll just do that. Uh, I don't have the money to drop on a $150 mattress. However, the way that I like to think about it is this is like buying one night of a hotel room that you're going to use for the next 10 years and you will really, really enjoy it. So if you spend an extra $100, you can get a really awesome mattress. This is the Comfort Plus from Sea to Summit. This is a top end mattress. This costs, I'm not sure the exact dollar, but around 140, 150 bucks. And when I switched from the Z Lite, the foam accordion style pad to a full on multiple inch thick mattress, I was never the same. My camping life changed forever. I started going from sleeping in fits, uh, waking up every couple of hours, having to shift positions because part of my body was asleep. <laughs> part of, either my arms were falling asleep or, or something like that. <laughs> Not the right part of me was asleep. I was awake, but my arm was asleep. Uh, that sucks. Nobody wants to have to put up with that. I switched to this and I started sleeping the whole night through. So if you think of that $100, meaning that you get months, if not years of your life to sleep in comfort and style, that is totally worth it. Like Let's go on the other end. What can you save some money on? When you're talking about backpacking, most of the things that cost you money are saving weight and space. So I think that a tent is Something that while an ultralight version is great to have, something that weighs in at two to three pounds, it's not necessary to spend an extra $200 to shave two pounds off of your pack weight. So I think that there are some really solid options out there for good quality tents that don't cost a ton of money. The Marmot Tungsten two-person tent is a great example of that. This checks in at less than $200 for the tent. However, if that is still expensive for you, there are still awesome ways to save some money there. There are great alternative options, including going without a tent at all and just using tarp style shelters. So if, if you wanna get away with say a $50 shelter, you can totally do that. I love ultralight gear as much as the next geek when it comes to backpacking gear but it's just not necessarily worth it to me to spend 200 plus extra dollars to shave that, to shave that weight down. So if budget is a concern for you, go ahead and get a basic tent and you will be fine. So again, something that I think is worth spending good money on is a good quality sleeping bag. Sleep is one of the most important parts of backpacking. If you are sleeping well, you are happy. So if you combine a good sleeping bag with a good sleeping mattress, no matter what is going on with the weather, you're gonna be sleeping well and you're gonna be happy. So one of the main things that happens with sleeping bags is you're able to save space and weight. And the biggest thing is space. If you're buying saying a generic sleeping bag from Walmart or the general sporting goods store, they might keep you warm, but they're going to pack down to 
a huge thing that's going to fill up half of your backpack. I think it's absolutely worth saving that space in your backpack and spending a little bit more money on it. Another good item to save money on is gonna be your stove. You don't have to get a super expensive stove system. You can get a pocket rocket style stove, something that's about this big that is just fine. If you're going and you're just boiling water and you're doing backpacker meals, you're not trying to cook super elaborate fancy meals, those stoves are awesome, they are tiny, they take up no space, they're light, and they get the job done. If you're like me and you plan on doing a lot of backpacking, the next thing that I am totally willing to spend some good money on is a backpack. Again, going back to the route that comfort is king with backpacking, a good backpack makes a big, big difference in how comfortable you're going to be on the trail. So I recommend something that has good, comfortable straps, something that is good at dispersing the weight, at carrying the weight, something that has a lot of handy pockets, and that just makes life on the trail a lot more comfortable. I've come across this backpack. There's lots of good models. This is the Gregory Baltoro. It's a 75 liter pack, and it is really good. You can hike 10 to 15 miles deep, and you're still feeling good. One of the first things that starts to hurt with a lower quality or cheaper backpack is certainly your shoulders. The, the ability to disperse the weight and carry the weight properly is just not as good. And so if you get something with good padding, thoughtful design, it makes a difference, if, especially if you're doing multiple days on the trail, you're doing a long distance trail, or you're just hiking a long ways. So I definitely recommend getting a good backpack as well. My last piece of advice here for saving money comes with water treatment. So there are some awesome products out on the market that are $300, $400, and truly, I do love them. However, if saving money is important to you, there are lots of good options to go much cheaper than that. I've recently come across Grail. This is a really cool filter, uh, purifier actually, that runs at about 90 bucks. So this is an awesome option and it's really handy and it's always on the fly and I definitely recommend it. I've used it in lots of places. It's a great system. However, if that's still a little expensive for you, you can go cheaper than that. You can always get iodine tablets or aqua tabs, just cheap chemical types of treatment that you just drop into a liter of water, wait 20 to 30 minutes, and you've got clean, safe drinking water. It's also an excellent option for saving weight as well. So if that's important to you, go with that route and you will be spending pennies on the dollar for clean, safe drinking water. So there you go. I hope that that helps you make your future purchasing decisions a little bit easier. I'm Eric Hansen. Thanks for watching Backpacking TV. See you later.